This is Nicole, sass behind the camera. I am doing a special and shocking, you're never gonna believe it, video. My diet when I was obese to my diet now. Perfect. You will never believe what I ate. don't know I used to weigh 275 pounds at my heaviest I have lost 130 pounds the reason why I want to do this video today is because what you're gonna see what I used to eat I used to be so embarrassed and I wanted to share with those of you that are struggling that are embarrassed of your food or your weight or who you are I wanted to share with you that I've been there and I know your struggle and you're not alone and it is so possible to change and be here where I am okay so picture this this is about eight years ago I was at my heaviest of 275 pounds and what you're gonna see is pretty much a typical day seven days a week for me so start with breakfast I usually had about four of these hash browns then I would have a bag of chocolate or two or three chocolate bars depending on what I had available half a bottle a big bottle of juice moving on to lunch I would have about 10 chicken strips deep fried in oil on the stove oh missing the label sorry <laughs> um, along with the chicken strips not pictured is french fries I used to take about five large potatoes slice them up and fry them in the same oil as the chicken strips and that was my lunch every single day for dinner I had a large frozen pizza to myself followed by about five four or five small pitas doused in real butter and full fat cheese to make my own garlic bread it wasn't enough I needed to have a snack my snack was this and I also want to say throughout the day before I share my snack with you I would drink seven full sugar cans of pop this is root beer I had any full sugar pop that was available usually dr. pepper seven cans a day then and barely no water right the, there's no water here because I didn't drink water I drank juice and pop that was it not a sip of water maybe half a bottle a week then snack right before bed I would have about half a large container of cookies this what you're seeing here is about half of a box of ice cream sandwiches this is 12 of them a full bag of candy and a full bag of chips and I want to say this the reason why the food gets bigger and bigger is because every time I ate a meal when I was bigger it wasn't enough so I had to keep eating more and more and more and what I realized is that the reason why the food never filled me up why I was always hungry is because it had nothing to do with the food I was using the food to make me feel better and because it never made me feel better I needed more and more to the point where I ate this stuff every single day all of this I put this in my body day after day after day and I made myself so heavy that I gave myself severe medical issues I could barely walk I had plantar fasciitis so bad I had really bad knee problems I developed sleep apnea so bad I was stopping breathing like partially 84 times a night seven times completely stopping breathing at night I needed a machine to breathe to help me sleep and I was getting to the point where I could barely do up my clothes anymore I was getting stuck in chairs I couldn't breathe when I went up the stairs I couldn't bend over to tie my shoes and I was miserable eating this food wasn't fun it was painful but I I needed to do it because I felt like if I did it for just a few seconds I could feel just a little bit better and then when the food was gone I felt terrible again and it was the same miserable cycle day 
after day after day. And if you're out there right now and you're watching this, just know, I feel your pain. I know what it's like to be so heavy you can barely move. To be embarrassed of yourself that you wanna shrink but you're too big to shrink in public and people notice you anyway and they judge you without even knowing who you are. I know what that feels like and I honestly, I thought that I would be eating this food every single day of my life for the rest of my life and I thought that my medical issues were gonna get way worse and I thought this is it, like I'm gonna be miserable. Just know it is possible to change. Sassy, my husband Kyle behind the camera, he was 375 pounds. He was having just as many medical issues as me, eating the same or more than me every day. And we realized we have to do something. But every time that we tried, we thought, well, we can't do this. We have to punish ourselves for being overweight and eating this food. So we're gonna take away all the fun out of food and we're gonna eat egg whites, chicken, broccoli, and rice every single day for the rest of our lives until we get six packs and we lose all the weight and we're perfectly healthy and happy human beings because when you're skinny, you're happy, right? Every Monday, we tried the perfect food diet and every Monday we failed and then we would resume Monday night with the same diet over and over again of what you see here. One day we said, this is it. We like ourselves. We actually deep down have some sort of love for ourselves and respect and it is time to change. We don't have to live like this every day anymore. And so we said, let's set ourselves up for success. Let's not make eating miserable. Let's include foods that we like and do this the right way this time where we'll stick to it and be happy for the rest of our lives. So we went to portion control and in the beginning, we weren't ready to give up the foods that we loved. What we did was we changed how much. So we portioned out our pizza. We portioned out the ice cream. We changed over to diet pop until we could get down to one a day instead of seven. And we just made small changes, portioned out our food. Wow, because we were eating foods that we loved, we stuck to it. And we lost 130 pounds each. And in the first three months, we lost 50 pounds super fast because we had so much weight to lose and we were eating what we liked and we were still losing weight. Now, I'm standing before you today, 130 pounds lighter. Not only physically, but mentally too, because I don't need food to make me feel better anymore. I make me feel better and I can deal with stuff without needing food and I love what I eat every single day. I can do all the things I love. And why, why did I stick to it and lose the weight and same with Sassy Kyle? <laughs> because we eat foods we love every single day. We don't make ourselves do exercise that we don't like. We love lifting weights and we love walking together. So we do that every single day. We do some form of exercise together because we love it but only if we like it. Now, every single day, instead of the seven cans of pop, I drink one diet pop a day. I drink three liters of water. I wake up and I eat French toast made with thin bread, white or whole wheat. Sometimes I eat white bread, sometimes I eat wheat. I use egg whites for the French toast. I put sugar-free syrup on it. I eat vanilla yogurt with berries. I love it. It fills me up. It makes me feel satisfied. Then for lunch, I eat a lean chicken burger with sugar-free barbecue sauce in a wrap with really with veggies that I love, cucumber and romaine lettuce. And then for dinner, I let myself have pizza. I make a pita pizza on a low carb tortilla and I put fat free cheese, all the veggies I want, sugar free barbecue sauce, lean protein and then I give myself a snack every single day. I make protein ice cream with non-dairy milk, berries and protein powder and then I put a fiber one bar on top and then it's not over. Then I have popcorn, a whole bag of fat free popcorn and then Right before I go to bed, I eat a tablespoon of peanut butter with cottage cheese. I eat like 1800 calories a day and I love my food and I'm free and I'm happy 
and I'm healthy. I don't have sleep apnea anymore. I've been medically cleared. I don't need the machine. I don't have plantar fasciitis. Every once in a while my foot gets sore and that is it. I'm healthy. I weight train. I put on muscle. I'm this. I don't need food anymore. But the cool thing is, I like to eat. So I choose foods that I love and so does Sassy. And every once in a while, if I want an ice cream sandwich or I want real pizza, I give it to myself. And that is what has helped us keep the weight off because we don't deny ourselves anything. We let ourselves look forward to what we're eating, how we're moving our body, and we allow treats every once in a while. Just know if you're sitting here watching us right now, watching me, I know what your struggle is like because I lived it for the majority of my life. And you can change. You can eat what you like and lose weight and feel better and feel healthy. You don't have to be stuck in that cycle that I was stuck in and that Kyle was stuck in. You can change. And let me tell you, we thought that we our diet was the worst of the worst and we thought that we could never get out from the bottom of the barrel and we did it. And if we can do it, you can do it. You are not alone. You have two people right here, one behind the camera, one in front, that have been through your struggle, that care about you, and that know you can do this. And two people that still aren't perfect eaters. And yeah. that was one of our major problems. We thought we had to go from a horrible diet to a perfect, organic, clean diet. Well, it's not perfect now. It does, that didn't work for us. So we said, okay, we're not perfect eaters. Let's choose stuff we like that helps our bodies do the things we love every day, and that's it. And so that's what we do. French toast, pizza. We just make lower calorie, low fat versions of them. And when we want the real thing, we give it to ourselves. And because we don't deny ourselves, we don't need to overeat anymore. And that's it. You got this. You can do this. We did it and so can you. You, We might not be there in person with you, but just know we're with you every step of the way. All right, the friends, I hope you really enjoyed this. Just know that we love you and this channel, it's for you. It's to share with you that we had the same struggle and you are not alone. And that is why we're here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got inspired to change if you are ready and do the stuff, click the bells, and Instagram out to collect and now we frog it! <laughs> oh, and before I forget, we have two complete weight loss guides down below. If you want to check them out, the links are down there. Now we frog it, go! <laughs> <laughs> yes, checking out is the collects. Peace out, boys and girls. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here, heart and mindset. Fight through it, 